Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is July 2nd, 2022. It's 2.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York, and this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing pretty good. Um, my anxiety levels are pretty low. My paranoia levels are pretty low. My delusions are not too bad. My auditory hallucinations are at a minimum. My anxiety levels are pretty low. Um, I'm seeing my therapist this uh, upcoming Wednesday of the 6th of July, and I'm seeing my new psychiatrist on July 8th. Um, the last psychiatrist I had was a resident, and he completed his training, so he's moving on to the next phase of his treatment, or his uh, training as a psychiatrist, and I've gotten a new um, resident assigned to me, who is a medical doctor and can prescribe med psychiatric medications. He is a psychiatrist, um, and I'll be working with him probably like the last one for one to two years, and I'll have to change psychiatrists again. I go to a clinic that's part of a teaching hospital, so the psychiatrists turn over a lot, especially when they're resident psychiatrists who are in career training. Um, <clears throat> as far as my pain in my right knee from surgery, that's still getting better and better and more and more under control. Um, I had knee surgery on May 13th to remove a torn meniscus out of my knee and some loose cartilage and scar tissue. Um, the pain is getting less and less severe as I continue to do physical therapy exercises. Um, I still take some Tylenol and um, some ibuprofen Motrin for the pain. Um, the pain is getting less and less severe as time goes on. Um, the physical pain that I was experiencing a few months back that led me to taking Cymbalta, nerve pain, muscular skeletal pain, joint pain. Most of that's under control since I started on Cymbalta three or four months ago. Um, I'm also taking Flexoril for physical muscle pain and um, also neurotin for nerve pain, muscular skeletal pain, arthritis pain. Um, and most of that pain is pretty much under good control right now. Um, the Cymbalta is not being prescribed by my psychiatrist because although it is an antidepressant, I'm not taking it primarily as an antidepressant. I'm taking it as a way to control pain. Um, obviously, I don't want to take opioid painkillers like Percocet or, you know, um, Oxycontin or anything like that. Um, but I do take several medications to do with physical pain, including some Volta. Um, but I do have to say, since I started the Cymbalta, insomnia has been less of a problem than it was a few months back. I'm assuming that because Cymbalta is an antidepressant, it's helping relieving some of my anxiety and depression and helping me sleep better, even though I take it in the morning, because I don't want the stimulant effects of the antidepressant to keep me up all night, so I take the Cymbalta early in the morning when I first get up around 5 or 6 a.m. every morning. Um, I tend to be able to sleep only until the sun comes up. Once the sun comes up, then I'm up for the day. Um, I can't go back to sleep until sundown again. Um, so I guess in some ways I get a little bit less sleep during the summer. That's assuming I sleep throughout the night in the first place. Um, but my sleep has been a lot better, my insomnia has been a lot less of a problem. Um, and uh, today is the 2nd of July. I paid all my bills yesterday, I paid my rent today. I was able to pay all my bills electronically. My um, 
internet connection, my rent, my telephone, um, and my cell phone, my smartphone bills. I was able to pay all of those. I'm doing pretty good financially. I have money left over just in case an emergency comes up. Um, but other than that, there's not much else to report. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm fairly stable and uh, have very few complaints. Like, comment, share, subscribe.